Hello YouTube, welcome back, Chris here. Today I have a Wahoo Kicker Snap and I'm gonna do a unboxing and uh, show you how this thing works and show you how to set up a bike on it. So let's get started. One awesome thing about the Wahoo Kicker Snap is it comes pretty much fully assembled. There's not a whole lot you have to do to this. Take it out of the box and set your bike up for it. Kind of funny, they give you four completely different cords here, so depending on what country you're in. I figured it'd be cheaper to give it just an adapter, but hey, all right. They also give you a front wheel block, which is pretty cool, and a trainer skewer, which you're going to need. I'm not going to show how to put the trainer skewer on. I have another video for that. I'll link it here uh, if you're curious. A good walkthrough on how to put that on your bike to set it up for a trainer. But uh, let's grab a bike and uh, show you how to put this on. So the Kicker Snap is the least expensive kicker in the Wahoo lineup. It is the only wheel on trainer that they offer. So that means you leave your bike with the rear wheel on just like a traditional trainer where the core and the traditional regular kicker is a we are wheel off trainers. Real simple, there's one spot here to hook up the power, just like that. You select the appropriate cord, put it in here, and it's ready to use. As for putting the bike on the trainer, you have a few different adjustments you can make. This little blue knob here is what changes the position of the drum and the flywheel. And you're gonna adjust that. You're gonna back it off first, and then once the bike is on there, you bring it up to contact the tire. This side over here is what you're gonna to adjust to make sure it's the right width. This is a quick release to clamp the bike in it. Nothing moves over here, it just stays fixed. And then you use this side to get the right width. Once you have the right width, this little wheel will lock it in place so you don't have to adjust it again. So let's grab a bike, throw it up here on the trainer and show you how it connects. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do when putting a bike on this is to back the drum down. I like to bring it down nice and far so you don't have to worry about it hitting the tire when you put the bike on. Now, like I said before, I already have my trainer skewer installed, but uh, I did link a video if you want to uh, learn how to do that. And you're just going to line it up in the fixed side here. I'm going to test it first. And this is too loose. You don't have to have it deftly tight in here, but you see that movement there? 
that's not safe. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to back this out a little bit and try it again. Okay, that's a little better, but still a little more wiggle than I like. So I'm going to give it a couple more turns. And when this clamps in, it should have a nice firm close like that. And not a lot of movement to it. I might go a little bit tighter. And the nice thing is once you've set this up once, it's kind of good. Um, you don't really need to do it again next time. Because unless you're switching between bikes, it may change a little. But it kind of just sets it up once. And then you're good. And you just use this lever here. Once you've got that on... You're going to dial your drum up. And when you do this, you want it to contact and a small indent. And make sure your tires are nice and full. They're a good 100 pounds of pressure or so. And that will give it good contact so it doesn't slip. And get that flywheel moving. Whoa, that's a high gear. Just like that, you're riding. So I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe because I'm going to make some more. And we'll see you next time.